Hello, hello, welcome back to Satisfactory. I'm Hitman82. This is episode 8, I think. 8 is enough. We're done. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, Alright, so last episode we worked on this line over here, and we got our reinforced iron plates for building now. So we, uh, we use those, for, of course, in all the assemblers, uh, constructors. So we needed that. Um, we need to get, uh, what are these things called? Um, we need to get modular frames and rotors going, but I think I'm going to wait on that because our power usage is just, uh, I'm at the point where it's, it, it's so much work to run that biomass. So I think what I'm going to do uh, today is we're going to do a bunch of research and then uh, we're going to go around and optimize stuff. For instance, I forgot to split the, the copper here. Uh, you'll see. You'll see in a moment. Uh, basically, we're going to go through and do some tweaking. So we're going to learn how to do that today. Some of you already know how, but some of you may not, so you're going to learn. First thing we're going to do, let's see, personal storage, I guess. So these we can scan now, so let's, uh, this will, uh, go immediately. See, it doesn't launch it for the, uh, those kind of mini research things here, for the scanners. Um, okay, select that one. And boom, away it goes, except it didn't go, see? hasn't launched. So our next one, hmm, um, oh, color gun's kind of handy. Let's get personal storage going, because then I get five more inventory slots, that'll be easier. Um, do do and one of those, and one of those, and launch. She's gonna, gonna talk. Milestone reached. Additional storage options have been provided. R&D inflated your pocket dimension and developed a personal storage box accessible in the build menu. Okay then. So we now have five more of these slots, so that is pretty useful. Plus we can make the, uh, where are we here? The personal storage boxes, see? So those you can't automate, like you can't dump stuff in there automatically. So they're, yeah, personal boxes, where these are more storage containers that hooked up the conveyors. Um, they hold about the same amount though, so that's uh, magic, I guess. Hey, did you know you can climb up just about everything? You can climb on top of it. Isn't that neat? For instance, you go over here to this constructor. It's got a ladder on it. Lots of stuff have ladders on it. That's pretty awesome. So you can run and jump. So you see this light was flashing yellow just now, so what does that mean? We need to do some optimization. Yeah, see, it's full of rods. So what we'll do is it's best I think to start at the kind of at the end and then work backwards so we know that this will handle 60 uh, 60 screws per minute because that's the maximum speed of the belt you know what I think I'm just gonna configure configure one line on screen and then maybe I'll do the rest off screen because uh, that'll be kind of boring episode I think otherwise all right so this is using 15 rods per minute and it's producing 90 screws per minute so we can reduce uh, we could reduce this to, what is it, 67%? Uh, yeah, that's two-thirds. So now just watch right here where it's just 90 per minute, 60.3 per minute. Yeah, close enough. So what this will do, you know what, can we maybe bump, what happens if we put that 66? Alright, so it's just using a little bit less now, but anyway, we're using half the power. This was 4 megawatts, it's now 2.1 megawatts. And you see the efficiency is at 100% because it's going full bore. Um, and it's not sitting there waiting to output. So that is now optimized. So now we're at 9.9 .9 rods per minute. So we go move through here and we go, oh, I'm gonna move away from the machines a bit. So it's noisy for me, but I, I've had to turn the game up to 80% um, on my in-game audio, just because I wanna make sure you guys can hear. Um, all right, so we're at four megawatts. Uh, we're, making uh, we're making 15 per minute, so we can reduce that. Uh, uh, by six, uh, down to 66 percent as well. No, I'm gonna make that 67 just because, just because, just, just because, <laughs> because I'm weird that way. There we go. We'll call it 67 percent. Okay, so that means now we are now using half as much power for those two assemblers or those two constructors. I keep calling them assemblers. Um, all right. And so we'll continue up the chain, but first we'll go and do the same thing on. Well, this is just the rod, so it can use it can go full speed. 
because it's using 15, making 15, and the belts will handle it. So we'll leave that one full speed. So that's that's uh, 15 ingots per minute, and this one is using 10 per minute. So we want to make this over here. We want to use 25 per minute. So we need to produce that by um, 30 to blah, blah, by a sixth. So what's that like? Uh, 85 percent? I don't know. Just pulling it out of my head here. Um, what was I trying to get down to? 25? I can't remember now. Oh my gosh. Brain failed. It's just one of those, just, just a brain block. Okay, so it's 15, 25. We're after 25. We're at 25 and a half. You know what? That's, that's close enough, I think. So now we're at 100% efficiency. So now, if that's using... 25 per minute, that means I can reduce, uh, what was the speed? 85%, so we should be able to drop this to 85%. And there we go. Wow, it went from 5 megawatts to 3.9, so we are saving lots of power. Yeah, you see that? Now we're down to, well, still in a critical area. Um, right, so now I have to go through all the rest of the stuff and, and do that. And then once we get Mark II conveyors, I'll... <laughs> I'll then go through it all over again and, and optimize it again. But that's part of the game. The, uh, there's not a lot of stuff, like a lot of content in the game yet. So the tweaking is something that yeah, it eats up some time. But I don't know about you, I find it kind of entertaining. So I like doing that. But I'm not going to show the rest of it. Uh, now, I had mentioned because the, uh, the copper here is on a normal. That's on a normal deposit. It's outputting 60 ore per minute. I said, whoa, that's great. I'll just split it and feed two smelters. Well, that's what I did. See, it's using 30, and it's using 30. But then, this is only using 15 per minute, and it's producing 30, uh, uh, where are we here? 30 per minute. So, we actually need a splitter right here, and I could double that production. So, you know what we do there? Is we bump that down to 50%. There. So we make that 50%. Anyway, this is I have to go through all the machines to do that, but we're not going to do the rest of that right now. Uh, we are going to go back over here to the... Uh, what are these things called? Again? Oh, uh, we need to grab some like, uh, space. We want to grab more of this um, limestone, because we're going to need it in a moment. You know what, you know what we're going to do today? We're going to build a space elevator. What do you think of that? I have to go back and sort the research first, though. Um... So, oh, th the screw production here is one that I have to look at. And the reason why, okay, so we're using 15 iron, and it's producing 15 rods. And that's A-OK. -okay. But here, it's producing 90 screws per minute onto a 60 screws per minute belt, where it then gets merged here. So, actually, we're, we can only really get 30 out of this one, and 30 out of that one added together to make 60 per minute here. So let's, that's a third we use, so we want to get this down to like 34%. Like that. Well, it hasn't even updated because it hasn't built anything. So let's do the same thing over there, and that's just going to be, that'll be all we do on that for now. Um, Alright, so that gets that to 34. Oh, and so these things use a ton of power, these uh, assemblers. Look at that, 15 megawatts. Well, that's set up for 100 and... 20 screws per minute, we can go to half speed on that. Like so. And then that'll drop to 60 per minute. And what that gets us is, uh, uh, that should get us 100% efficiency on that. Boom, look at that, 4.9 megawatts. We're using a third of the power with half the clock speed. Um, so that should have a pretty significant impact on our power. Why is it going up? Um, uh, it just bounces all around based on things waiting. Uh, this will become more stable as I optimize things, uh, which is what I want. I want uh, I, uh, what can happen now is say these these uh, constructors are sitting here and they get all backed up and gummed up, and they're not producing, they're not consuming power, and then suddenly I don't know. May, uh, this is a bad example, but it's say if over on the other area, and I pulled the screws out of the uh, conveyor or the storage container and it was full, so they were all stalled, and I pulled some screws out, and it started up again, I'd have a sudden spike on the power, and if, uh, if I'm playing it close, uh, I could I could uh, run out of power. Let's um, 
got a hundred of those. Whoa, on us. Ooh, lots of reinforced iron plates go through a lot. Okay, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll do that off screen. I'll go through and optimize everything. Um, if you're watching this and you're like, well, I want to see what the settings were, um, post that in the comments, and uh, I'll go through. Uh, I can go through the machines briefly and, and show, especially if you show me specific machines or tell me a specific machine you want to see what the settings are for. Um, in the meantime. I would mentioned about making a space elevator, and this looks like a good time to do so. First we'll get this going. Conveyor walls, um, yeah, good enough. Let's just get this going. I just, I'm trying to kind of get all the research done. I may as well, right? There's not a lot of it. And lunch. Milestone reached. To ensure optimal use of space, navigation, and tidiness, R&D have developed stairs and conveyor walls. Wow, they came up with stairs! They are one clever bunch. I don't know, I never even thought of stairs. I thought you'd just go up and see, look, you don't need stairs, it's a ramp. They came up with this marvelous invention. They should patent it. Sorry, I didn't get any sarcasm on you guys. <laughs> I was laying on pretty thick there. Okay, next up is the space elevators. What do we need for that? Um, where is it? Here. So we'll click the little plus and it shows up in the right corner right side I mean and that's what I need to have in my inventory to build the thing so that's gonna good thing we can just get those five inventory slots uh, we need three stacks of wire don't need any cables so we'll start with a wire two and three Turn that one back uh, okay so that's enough wire and then we need four stacks of rods we need any plates we do grab three of those and rods, we'll want 400 of those, so that's four stacks. And one for luck. <laughs> Why not? I should have done the same with the wire, because then I'll go to hook something up, power or something, and we'll be able to do it. There we go. Uh, is that everything? Nope, concrete. We need concrete. I think I've got a bunch here. Oh, I don't have enough more in my inventory. Um. Oh, okay. Well, let's... I hate to say it. Oh, you know what? I won't do this on screen. I was going to say I'll, ma I'll make some more concrete on screen, but no, I won't. No, I won't. Do we have enough? We do. And a little extra for luck. And away we go. Now, where are we going to put this giant beast of a thing? And do we only want to make one? I'm just kidding. Of course, we only want to make one. Not made of money, you know. Oh, let's see. Well, I don't want it to eat up where my factory is going, because then it's in the way. So, how about right here? Not going to be in the road. How's that? Ready? Here we go. Oh, <laughs> look at all this stuff go flying. Oh, look out! Flying Manta. With the space elevator. It's still going. Look at it. That is insane. That thing is so big. Okay, we're gonna watch the. Oh, can I get rid of that? There we go. Oh, what's that coming down? Oh, there's there's two things to watch, and I can't watch them both at the same time. So that thing's coming down, and this thing's getting ready to receive. Oh, you're coming in too fast. All right, so this has little holes in it. And then they grab it. Oh, pull some tension. So I'm not actually sure how this would actually work. Did this come down from space? Do we now have like a sling sticking up? I don't know. But anyway, they're happy now. They've got this thing built, so now they can get even more materials from me. I can shoot it up the space elevator. So let's have a look at this. Oh my gosh, this thing. Did I mention how huge this was? Look at it. Ah, no ladders, though. Oh. I have seen videos though of people getting on this thing and getting shot up. Uh, I don't know if I'll try that. Dying ain't much of li living, you know. Okay. Fix it. Space elevator. What is it? Oh, <laughs> it's the exclamation mark. It's like, ah, what a funny place to put a light bulb. Okay, let's look in this. Alright, we need 75 reinforced plates and 50 rotors. And that will give us uh, resource delivery one project assembly platform, and that will unlock tiers three and four. 
exciting. Uh, I wonder. I wonder if we have enough stuff to make those rotors right now because we have enough reinforced plate. Now, I could go and do the whole rotor thing right now, but I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can make this stuff, uh, craft it quickly. Uh, I think I need 50, was it? Oh my gosh, my memory is just takes a lot of attention to pay attention to what I'm doing here. So I, yeah, it's in, in, in one eye and with the other. Uh, I'm gonna need iron rods and screws, so let's grab a bunch of those. Yes, I'm gonna do a little bit of crafting on screen, but it shouldn't be too much. Cool. Uh, grab some bars, or uh, what are these things called? Rods. And it's crafting time. How many of these do we need? 50, right? And we hold this thing and wait. Well, we're already at 10, so we're zipping along. There's 15. Okay, well, while this is working, I'll uh, I'll have to get another research going, so I'll do that as soon as I've done this. And then we'll uh, we'll go over and we'll load up the, uh, the space elevator and we'll get to see the animation for that. And that'll be kind of our finale, I imagine, for today. Um, I think I had some extras for doing... There we go, for doing the... Um, what are they called? <laughs> the assemblers. Oh, too many words. Not enough brain. Uh, now I need... I think I have a hundred... hundred reinforced plates on me, don't I? No. So you can... Where is it? There's... There are inputs on this where you could just hook up containers. Yeah, right here. So if you had, say, is say later on when you need, I don't know, 500 rotors, you would connect the conveyor there and then just have your production feeding it, or you could feed it from a um, cargo containers. Okay, um, that one in. All this, I guess, won't be our finale because we still got lots of time. A few minutes. All right. Now it's flashing. So I click and hold it. Ceiling. Uh, are you excited? Here we go. Ooh, that's bizarre. I haven't seen that before, just a little glitch. Oh, there it goes! Oh man, if there's any people on that, they just. Yeah. They just became one with their feet. Because <laughs> that would be a lot of G force at that speed, I would think. Okay, we have unlocked stuff. Let's go have a look. I'm gonna have to move the hub down here, or put a road in or something, so I don't have to keep going up through here and jumping on rocks. Can I say it's rustic though? Run through the flowers. I guess that's okay. A little bit of calming time to run over here. Let's see what we can research now. Look at that, tier four, tiers three and four. <gasps> oh, power and logistics. Okay, so this will give us we can make a tractor, which is like an early version of a truck. And I, I use that a lot. I haven't used the truck yet. Uh, you can make coal generators, and you can scan for coal. So that's a good one, and we could get that pretty quickly. And then there's tier four. Oh, well, first we'll look at the other. Here's a conveyor mark two, which, you know what? I should probably research this right away so I don't have to go through, change everything, and then turn around and go back and change it again as soon as I'm done. So maybe we'll do uh, that research next episode. Um, Looking at the time, eh, maybe we can do it this episode. We'll see. Miner Mark II, Foundry. The Foundry is used for making steel, and then there's all steel products, and motors, and oh my goodness, lots of stuff. And in improved melee combat, we get a Xeno Basher, which is like an electric sword. Ooh, like a lightsaber. And then Logistics 3, where we get the Conveyor Mark III, which transports 270 resources per minute. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And then the uh, Mark II container. So there we go. Um, let's um, where was it? Let's do this logistics mark two now. How's that? Uh, put that in there. Uh, I'll need another one of those. Gonna need more rotors. I'm, I'm, yeah, I was trying to avoid doing the manual crafting, but sometimes you just you just impatient, right? So let's get twenty of those and put those in. Ooh, waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting and oh, man, I'm crafting. Blech. Blech. Now I need what? Another stack? What's the wrong one? Oh, I need another stack of that too. Um, a stack of that. Two stacks of that. There we go. 
back and that will give us the Mark II conveyors. So that'll help our screw production and then anything that uses screws. Okay, so she's going to talk a bit here in a moment. Milestone reached. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. Let's see, I wonder if it's is it going to hit the space elevator? Look out! Look, look out! Oh man, that pilot is crazy. I don't know. Somebody better write him up. <laughs> okay, we're her up. Sorry, it could be one or the other, or. Whichever, here we go. Oh, uh, we, I think we're, uh, let's check our fuel. Well, I'm gonna have to run around and fuel things again. So I think we're gonna wrap up there for today. So uh, I kind of went off on a tangent, didn't even come close to doing what I had planned to do today, which was getting more production done. But we got the space elevator, we got the Mark II conveyors, and I showed you um, some, some uh, info about making things a little more streamlined in your factory and reducing your power usage. Uh, early on when you're doing the biomass, the less power you use, the, the easier, the less grindy it is. So definitely going to go through and, and, and uh, get those all streamlined. And I can show you, like I said, if you say in the comments you want it to see it all, I can go through and show you the results. Alright, we're going to wrap that up for today. Are you excited? Look at that, we have a space elevator now. Wee! Alright, and we'll see you next time. Make sure you click like if you enjoy what you saw today. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.